Memorial Day looks a lot different this year than it has in the past. Our current state of affairs and the protective measures implemented across the country to stop the spread of COVID-19 have forced us to think creatively to ensure we pay a proper tribute to our fallen. We're not in our local communities taking part in remembrance ceremonies, watching parades, or enjoying barbecues with our families. But we can still honor our brothers and sisters who are no longer here with us to enjoy the freedoms they serve to defend. Here, we have tributes from friends and families, including photos and words of remembrance to the DAV Honor Wall mosaic, alongside special testimonials from some very special people you might recognize. This year may look different, but today is a somber day of reflection, a time to remember those men and women who helped deliver our freedoms and who never got the chance to step off the battlefield. We are, I think, in some ways, fortunate to have a single year where, as a nation, our heads are not turned the other way, heeding distractions instead of remembering the significance of what the day means to those who sacrificed, those who served alongside them, and those families who survived them. Behind it all, Memorial Day is about the selfless sacrifice of American heroes who raise their right hands to say, it is I who will defend America, and if needed, I shall give my life in her defense. That debt has been paid time and again in the name of all Americans so that we may continue to enjoy life's most treasured moments each and every day. And for too many American families, the absence of a loved one is a pain that lasts a lifetime. After nearly two decades of bloodshed in places like Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Yemen, and now parts of Africa, we have to be concerned that our citizens may have become somewhat numb to war. But make no mistake about it, Americans are still fighting and giving their lives so that freedom will ring. There were 22 Americans killed in Afghanistan last year, but 22 is just a number, a figure. It doesn't begin to describe the individuals who can no longer speak for themselves. It's up to us to keep their memory alive. Army Sergeant James Johnston, an explosive ordnance disposal soldier, was one of those 22. He died in Afghanistan last June, leaving behind a wife who was expecting a little girl. We remember and honor you, Sergeant Johnston, today and every day. Thank you. It's up to us to keep the memories of these selfless heroes alive. Heroes like Senior Chief Petty Officer Shannon Kent, who in 2019 became the first female sailor killed in the battle against the Islamic State. She perished in a suicide attack in northern Syria. A New York native, Kent was due to earn a doctorate in clinical psychology when she was sent on her fifth combat deployment. We honor and remember you, Senior Chief Kent, today and every day. Thank you. We are all duty bound to remember our fallen, to tell their stories, and to care for their families who need our support when struck by unfathomable loss. Today is for them, too. We remember your sacrifice, we honor it, and we offer our humble thanks. The men and women who answered Freedom's Call are remarkable people. They train as a team and sometimes fight like a family, but they have each other's back no matter how dire the straits. So, let's be sure we have their backs. It's especially important during this time of isolation and uncertainty that we honor the legacy of those lost by caring for those just left behind. Sometimes just sitting down to engage with a veteran or their family member to talk can go a long way. Call, email, reach out online. No matter how, keep connecting. I encourage all of you to find ways to involve yourself in caring for those who bear physical, emotional, and psychological scars of war. Take the time, not just for Memorial Day, but every day, to take a moment to remember our fallen. For those who never left the battlefields, we must hold them up in our hometowns and honor their memories. We can do that from anywhere, whether we're able to by traditional ceremonies or from our own front yards. We owe it to our fallen heroes. We owe it to their mothers, their fathers, sisters, brothers, sons, daughters, and friends. Today and every day, we honor the heroes who gave their all for our freedom. Check out some of the heartfelt messages we've received. We may be alone, but we are alone together. Thank you.